Welcome back to filmarriot.net on YouTube. Today we're reviewing the movie Alaska is a Drag. So Alaska is a drag, Raj. <laughs> Great title for a movie. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily think that Alaska would be the setting for a movie about a potential drag superstar. Well, there you go. But Surprising. it is. Surprising. <laughs> I would get dressed. What do you think about this one? You look like a drag queen. Thank you. This is directed by Shaz Bennett. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of expectations going into this movie. Um, the title sounded interesting. Um, the cast looked quite interesting. Yeah. And the real kicker for me was Margaret Cho is in it. I'm like, hey, if Margaret Cho is in it, I'm going to go <laughs> watch this well, movie. Yeah, quite a small role. And not the role that I thought Margaret Cho would have had. I mean, I don't know a lot about Margaret Cho. You're, you're very familiar with her. I'm a super her. fan, yeah. She's quite um, cutting as a comedian, as a stand-up comedian. But in this movie, she, you know, she had a couple of funny lines, but it wasn't really a, an outstanding role, really. No, it was her. quite a small role for her. Um, but there was, in the actual drag competition of the show... Uh, they were playing her music, actually. So she records oh. a lot of quirky, interesting uh, songs with political messages, and yeah. they used her. Uh, they used her music. So I was like, "Oh, that's Margaret Cho." So maybe a little bit more involved than just that small little role. But yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Here. I'm ready to rumble. Is that what they say? Sorry. Here, here, here. Huh. Take this maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Get these gloves on. It's fine. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. There must be some sort of. Oh, hell no. So this movie is about Leo, who's an aspiring drag superstar who kind of feels a bit, I don't know, downtrodden and a bit frustrated by where he's living in Alaska. He works in a fish factory. Uh, he's got a twin sister who's played by Maya Washington. Um, she plays Tristan, but Leo is played by Martin L. Washington Jr., who I thought was great. But the star yeah. for me was Maya Washington. It was so bizarre, because when I saw her on the screen, I thought I recognised her face. It wasn't from a previous movie. She's done quite a few movies. and I think she was in The L Word as well at one point a few years back. But uh, she's a YouTube star. And I actually watched Were you a lot starstruck? of her. Yeah, I was really <laughs> starstruck. It was so bizarre to see her in a movie because I yeah. know she's you know very theatrical, but I never, yeah. I never realised that she'd done movies before. So it was a real surprise for me to see her. I wasn't very familiar with her work at all, actually. Yeah. But I thought that the role that she played as the sister in this movie and the chemistry that she had with oh, her brother great. was so fantastic. She was really charming, and yeah. I think, like you say, there was a lot of chemistry between the two, and it really did feel like they were siblings too. It felt it felt genuine to me that they were, you know, they were close to each other. Are you even a man? He's a man. I can vouch for it. No, no, I don't mean like that. He's a man. Hi, sir. I am under a lot of pressure today, okay? I have considerable time constraints. I checked the rules online. Everything I'm wearing is legal and admissible according to the rules and regulations of boxing in my weight class. You can't fight like that. Are they teenagers? Maybe younger adults? I think they're meant of, to be, aren't yeah, they? I th I like think 21 ish, sort of. Maya's probably late 20s, early 30s. Yeah. So they're living in Alaska. Um, you know, the sister has, uh, she has cancer. Yeah. Have cancer. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the brother is working in a fish factory, gutting fish to make ends meet. They live in this little trailer. Um, and they have, both of them have big dreams of becoming drag superstars. <laughs> but they're kind of caught up in loads yeah. of fights, aren't they? Yeah. There always seems to be a punch up wherever they go and the people that they associate with. There's always a lot of problems. And I suppose well, it's the homophobia too, isn't it? That well, comes classic out. classic scenario, you know. I mean, basically, he's, his rainbow is shining bright. Yeah. And the, uh, you know, the Alaska boys just can't handle it. <laughs> I don't know if you saw a similarity with Dancer in the Dark, the Lars von Trier movie mm. that Björk stars in. Um, that there was a moment at the beginning of the movie where he's in the fish factory and he's almost escaping out of his humdrum life by going into a dance routine. And you hear the, you know, the, the rumbling of the of the, the uh, equipment that he's yeah. using, and it's really similar. I think it owed oh, okay. quite a lot to Dancer in the Dark because that's what happens oh, in that wow. movie. I did not even make that comparison. Yeah, I think it was a nice nod though. It wasn't like they stole it. It was just I, I thought a tribute to yeah. to Lars's work. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, it's the sort of thing that I'd watch, I think, on a Sunday afternoon at a TV movie. See, I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than you. I I was like, my heart was just warm watching the whole thing from beginning to end. It had a really fantastic ending, which is very appropriate. 
uh, for the whole movie. Um, you're talking about Maya Washington. I was a bit starstruck uh, by Matt Dallas being in it. Oh, yeah. He's got the most amazing eyes, too. Yeah. Really piercing. I mean, he used to be in this TV show called uh, Kyle XY. That's where I know him from. Um, and he's kind of a YouTube star now as well. So him uh, and his husband... They're live all in, doing it, aren't they? Yeah, him and his husband. <laughs> they have a son, and they just document their life from things that husbands do to things that two gay dads do with their kids yeah. to, you know, um, you know, their friends who come over to visit and everything. And so I've been f following Matt through that. And I just, I think it's just an enjoyable YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. And then to see him actually go back, I don't know if he's gone away or wherever he's been, but he's back into acting now. And he, the character he plays is quite fascinating as well. I really liked his character. I'm not sure I believed that relationship though he was better at fitting in <laughs> there you go than Leo yeah so yeah and quite di you know different personalities but then I suppose opposites attract yeah and what and then there's this whole scene uh, where he's boxing in the boxing match and how did he even get involved in boxing I can't even remember but he starts like getting into the boxing local boxing tournament and and he's uh before his uh, big drag show, he has to do do this boxing thing. Yeah. He's like in drag, you know, knocking out this guy. And it, I thought it was just hilarious. Yeah, it was his way of fighting back the, the abuse that he got, wasn't it? From, yeah. the, from the homophobes. Yeah. He just, he just wanted to kind of fight back, really. So I suppose he took on the boxing. And classic scenario, the homophobes are the yeah. biggest gays. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so in denial. <laughs> There's a whole storyline about that too. Those but who uh, shout the loudest, you know what they say. Exactly. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Three stars for me. It, it, you know, again, it wasn't, you know, uh, it wasn't groundbreaking, but I, I think it was an important movie and I think it had a good heart. Like you say, it, it felt like it came from a good place. I'm going to give it a four just because I thought it was original. I mean, hey, a movie about an aspiring drag queen living in Alaska working in a fish factory, you can't get more original than that. Yeah. And with, you know, Maya Washington, Matt Dallas, and Margaret Cho, and Nia Peoples, we haven't seen her in a long time either. The casting was just so unique. Names that you've forgot about, but you still love them. Yeah. And they, they just all came together and made this really nice, enjoyable film. So I highly recommend it. It was out. it was good casting. I'd like to see Maya Washington in some more films. I know that she's just completed something, which I think is, is going to be quite high profile. Can't remember the title off the top of my head, but I'd like to see her you know, in some more movies. So I think, again, like Harris Dickinson, I think she's a name to watch this year. I know okay. she's been doing stuff for a while, for a few yeah. years, but I'd like to see her doing more. Um, another did you star on the rise. Another star on the rise, exactly. <laughs> did you notice it wasn't shot in Alaska? I don't think a lot of it was shot in Alaska. I don't know. We the did area talk about this. Well. Yeah. Where was it shot at? I can't remember. Um, I can't remember, but I don't <laughs> think it was anywhere. Well, near. it was believable. Don't let that detar detract you. Do you from... think it was? I see. I don't yeah. know Alaska. I don't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Alaska is just cold and wet and dreary and it felt quite atmospheric yeah i mean i'm kind of from the northwest so i kind of know that area and it felt very authentic to me so yeah so three well, stars picking, for me. That's, you're picking it apart now, Phil. <laughs> I'm nitpicking. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I appreciate your support as always. You might like another video that we've done as well, the review of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10. Uh, find out what we thought of that by clicking on the link on the screen. See you next time.